Well, and I don't think that um, he was talking about uh, Stone Temple Pilots. He was talking about Velvet Revolver, and that had nothing to do with Wyland's criminal activity or drug use, uh, at least the breakup of that band. Apparently, um, that was the result of uh, arguments between the members, and and, um, apparently the wives were sitting in on all of the recording sessions and whatnot. That's pretty well documented. But, you know, the interesting thing here is you, you look at... It's not how many times Scott Weiland ultimately was arrested. It was. It, it's more of uh, of the environment, both in the band and at, at home. Scott Weiland was arrested a, a few times between 1998 and 2003 for drug possession, violating probation, one domestic violence incident. Uh, after that, Scott Weiland's wife set fire to all of his clothes and was charged with arson held on a $50,000 bond and her kids having having to be taken into shelter and and, um, and, and replace the damage done to a, a fine hotel room and then, and then make a public statement about the whole thing, blaming it on her bipolar disorder. So when you look at this interview with Howard Stern in his new book and, uh, and, and make accusations, just to get your timeline straight with regard to that and... Um, uh, as far as I know, all of his drug use ceased in 2003, and he still endured um, hardships after leaving the bands and abandoned his family life. So, 